How can we do long division in algebra? Well, this is what we'll learn today, but first of all, let's make sure that we know a certain terminology. What is a polynomial? A polynomial is an expression in x where the powers of x are positive integers. So for example, x squared plus 3x is a polynomial. 5x cubed minus 6x squared plus 7 is a polynomial. 3x to the 7 minus 6x squared minus 9 is a polynomial and so on. The degree of the polynomial is defined by the highest power of x. So for this polynomial, the highest power is 2, so the degree is 2. So a second degree polynomial is a quadratic. This is a cubic. It's a polynomial of the third degree. And this is a polynomial of the seventh degree because the highest power of x is 7. Then, what's an improper fraction? In the world of numbers, an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So, for example, 7 divided by 5 is improper. 5 divided by 5 is improper. But 4 over 5 is proper. In the world of algebra, if we have a polynomial over a polynomial, then an improper fraction is if the polynomial in the numerator has a degree that is greater than or equal to the degree of the polynomial in the denominator. It would be improper. So let's consider, for example, x squared plus 5 divided by x minus 2. This is second degree divided by first, so it's improper because the power of x in the numerator is greater than the highest power of x in the denominator. Consider x plus 3 divided by x minus 9. This is improper because the power of x in the numerator, the highest power of x, which is 1 in the numerator, is the same as the power of x in the denominator. But x squared plus 3x divided by x cubed minus 6x squared, this is a proper fraction because the degree of this polynomial is less than the degree of this polynomial. So that defines what a, an improper fraction is and what a proper fraction is. Moving on, let's consider long division in numbers. How did we do that? We used to write 652 divided by 9. 65, we started from the left. 65 divided by 9 is 7. 7 times 9 is 63, so we have a remainder of 2 that has, uh, and we subtract to get a 2. We take this 2 down. 22 divided by 9, we can get 2 9s, but then we have a remainder of 4. What this means is that 652 over 9 is equal to 72 but since there is a remainder it's a plus 4 over 9 because the 4 still has not been divided but in the world of fractions we do not write this plus what we do is we write it as a mixed number 72 and 4 ninths and the fact that we have a remainder here means that 9 is not a factor of 652. Now, 
this same principle this same concept is followed in algebra how can we divide this let's say we don't know how to factorize or let's say we don't want to factorize the numerator we do it in exactly the same way x squared plus 5x plus 6 and we make sure that the terms here are arranged in descending powers of x just like in numbers the number on the left hand side is the most significant w with the expressions in algebra we put the terms with the highest power on the left hand side and we arrange the terms in descending powers of x and if we divide by x plus 2 we follow the following procedure take the most significant expression x squared divided by x well the answer is x and then multiply x times x plus 2 we get x times x is x squared plus x times 2 is 2x the next step is subtraction when I subtract I would rather change the signs myself so this was a plus it becomes a neg minus and this is a minus so that reminds me this is x squared minus x squared they cancel 5 minus 2x gives me 3x plus 6 and then the process is repeated again 3x is divided by x and the answer is 3 then we multiply 3 times x plus 2 3 times x is 3x 3 times 2 6 and then we subtract I change the signs personally and this means that those cancel out those cancel out and the remainder is 0 then what this means not only that the answer is x plus 3 it also means it also means that x plus 2 is a factor of x squared plus 5x plus 6 and that this answer is another factor so we can tell that x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 3 but this can only happen if the remainder is 0 let's try another division let's do this the terms are arranged in descending powers of x x squared divided by x is x x times x is x squared x times negative 3 is minus 3x and we subtract those cancel out 5x plus 3x is 8x plus 10 we take this 10 down 8x divided by x is plus 8 8 times x is 8x 8 times negative 3 is minus 24 and we subtract again we're leaving us with the remainder of 34 then obviously this x minus 3 is not a factor of this quadratic but this expression the quadratic divided by this linear is equal to x plus 8 plus 34 divided by x minus 3 this is the remainder that has still not been divided just like in the world of numbers but in this case you must remember this plus
Let's consider this. The first thing we do is we have to arrange the terms. So 3x cubed plus 6x squared minus 7x plus 4 divided by x minus 1. And the process begins. 3x cubed divided by x is 3x squared. Multiply 3x cubed minus 3x squared and subtract. Those cancel out and they leave you with 9x squared minus 7x plus 4. 9x squared divided by x plus 9x multiply subtract negative 7x plus 9x is 2x and we take this plus 4, divide again. 2x divided by x is 2. Multiply. And subtract. And you end up with a remainder of 6. So this cubic divided by this linear is equal to 3 3x squared plus 9x plus 2 and since there is a remainder it's a plus 6 over x minus 1 